All right, so I have it fueled up and I did some tuning over there in the pits and now I'm gonna take this up. Hopefully it's gonna work okay. Seems to be running fine. Again, on the ground, the felt clunk hasn't seemed to impact it too much and we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna get it started and hopefully I can kind of make it through that half a tank and get kind of a, a, a fuller flight and it won't stall. We'll see. Timer going. Got it set for 10 minutes. I'm running at about a three quarter throttle. It's about right for my normal kind of cruising with this plane. Once again, it's flying great with the full tank, as you can see. All right, three minutes, three minutes into the flight. All right, five minute mark. All right, I'm at the three minute mark. If I can get to my, if I can get to my 10 minute timer on here, I think I'll know that I'm good with this, with this. I'm gonna keep it kind of high. So if it does stall, I'll have some room. All right, I'm at the nine and a well, eight and a half minute mark. So this is kind of where it stalls, like if I'm kind of banking like that. It looks like it's working pretty good. This thing's running very smooth with that felt clunk in there. I have a lot of gratitude for everybody who suggested I do this. Seems like it's working okay. I guess I should knock on wood. Uh oh, there it goes. Uh oh, it just stalled. Okay, so I'm hoping that I can get this thing around. Dead stick! Don't stall on me. Ah, uh, ooh, ah! Yikes. So that was a dead stick. I'm at 10 minutes. I could have brought that around, I think. Okay, so I think that was actually success. It, yes, I did have that stall, but the thing is, I was pushing it. But yeah, this thing ran. Hopefully I can get it. If you look at it, let me pull it up here. You can kind of see my my fuel. Let me get in there. You can see my fuel. Hopefully you can see that. It's pretty much I pretty much ran the ran the tank out. Alright, so it seems like the clunk, the felt clunk actually worked. It's running a little differently than it, than it was before. And again, it may be because the engine's sort of having to suck through the, the filter. But it, yeah, it ran really smooth for the most of the flight. And then I ran out of fuel. Luckily, I was able to save it without, I don't think, damaging anything. It came in pretty slow and hit a soft spot over there. But again, looking at the fuel tank, it looks like I ran most of the fuel out at about 10 minutes into the flight. And that's kind of where my timer was. So I'm going to go ahead and set my timer a little less. And I think I'm happy with this. I'm going to give it another try. All right, so this is the second flight with the felt clunk. I'm going to reduce my time a little bit just because I did run out of fuel. That stall I had was pilot error. 
pushed it too far. Cub roll. I still have about a half a tank in there. I'm going to go up and see if I can get it to run a little bit longer. Maybe I'm taking a risk here. This could be pilot error once again. But I have about a half a tank in there. Not very straight on the runway again. Put the work on that. Okay, I'll go ahead and bring it around now and kind of see where the fuel is. All right. Let's see where I am now. Okay, so now if you look at this, you can see I got about, looks like I got about a little over three quarters of the tank, about a quarter of the tank, maybe less than a quarter. So I think that felt plunk is actually working pretty well. Wow. So what I'm about to show you is I did a little test. Now I have about, that last flat I had, I ran it down to what I think is a little less than a quarter of a tank. And hopefully I can get the video and the shots of that kind of looking through the canopy. And what I decided I'd do, I'm going to start it up, put it about half throttle. And I tested the clunk, the felt clunk, to see how, if it would stall out. And I turned the plane, basically I went, I went vertical straight up. And then I just turned it straight down. And I let it kind of sit there. And what you'll see in the video is that it didn't, it didn't, didn't stall out. So that was my test and I'm a true believer now of using a felt clunk um, and on some some planes I don't know if I use it on all my planes but this one definitely seems to have benefited from that and cool so again thanks for you guys who suggested that your experience and your insight was very helpful and I really appreciate it thank you I think you solved well you solved my problem <laughs> <laughs>